G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And uh, with me here today we've got one of our baby northern blue tongue lizards. This guy featured in one of our videos a couple of weeks back, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you zip on back and have a squiz. But uh, today we wanted to have a bit of a chat about skinks. Blue tongue lizards are, of course, a member of the skink family. So uh, stay tuned and we'll have a bit of a chat about what has to be one of the most diverse families of lizards in the country. Put up some nest boxes or plant some trees. This is a So like I said guys, we wanted to have a bit of a chat about skinks today. And uh, have a look. We've got two different types of blue tongue lizards, an eastern and a northern. Of course the shingleback lizard. And uh, this spiky fella at the back is a Cunningham skink. And these are just a couple of the something like 370 plus species of skinks in the country. In fact, the number of skinks we have in Australia makes them the most successful group of vertebrates in the country. There is more species of skinks than any other vertebrate uh, family. So they're pretty amazing. And on top of that, they, uh, they haven't pigeonholed themselves into any one category. These guys are found not only all over Australia, from the tip of Cape York to the very coldest parts of Tasmania, they're found in every continent of the earth except Antarctica. Now, on top of that, they are incredibly adaptive. They've got all sorts of shapes and forms. The skinks that most people know are, of course, the tiny little fellas in your backyard, the little drop tail skinks, the tails fall off when you pick them up. Uh, skinks go anywhere from tiny little legless things to big chunky lizards like our shingleback lizard. We've got the blue tongues, the Cunningham skink with these really cool spiky tail to hide in rocks. They can live absolutely anywhere. In fact, the smallest of the skinks are only a few centimetres long and the biggest skinks, who's an Australian species, the land mullet, gets up to 70 centimetres long. So absolutely diverse. They're pretty amazing animals. Uh, but some lay eggs, some give birth to live young. Of course, anything that gives birth to live young is better suited to cold climates where they don't have to have a warm place for three months. Uh, they eat everything from tiny little termites to insects. Some skinks eat other skinks. Some of them eat uh, omnivores. They eat plant matter as well. They're absolutely amazing. They fit in every tiny little bit of ecosystem that Australia's got. If there is a vacant piece of habitat, there is a skink somewhere in Australia that is designed to thrive under those conditions. So we sort of, uh, I guess, don't pay them a great deal of attention because we see them all the time. But when you look at the, the diversity of these guys and the, the conditions that they can thrive under from the, the top of the Alpine region to the tip of Cape York to windswept islands in the middle of the Indian Ocean. You know, these guys are absolute colonizers. They're pretty amazing. Now, like always guys, uh, for more lizard videos, snakes, uh, possums, crocodiles, all the cool Australian wildlife, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've already hit 50 subscribers, so thank you everybody who's been watching so far. Uh, there's plenty more to come. As always, if you've got any questions, please shoot us a message. We'll get, keep getting more ideas for more videos. Um, follow us on Facebook or check out our website, wickedwildlife.com. Other than that one, guys, as always, have a good one and take care.